The green pattern at the top is our camshaft on this particular Chrysler. The alignment of these two patterns tells us about how the timing chain is doing and the relationship of crank and cam. This has always been important. But with variable valve timing, we're going to find it's even more important. Let's take a look. We're going to look at the middle here. At the 80 millisecond point, we got a blue arrow. It's lined up in the center of the red down at the bottom, and it's coming up on the leading edge of the crankshaft pickup signal in green. If we advanced our cam timing, it'll move to the left like this. It happens earlier in time. Now, you always need to know what's going on, and you need vehicle-specific information. You can see the cam timing advance if you know what's normal. To do that, you've got to have a known good source of waveforms. It's no different than anything else we've done. We have been using the Crank and Cam Signal Reference Guide CD from Thompson Automotive Labs. It provides good known examples for domestically produced engines. Yes, there's no answers to everything, but take a look at what they do. This is a handy guide available on CD that can save you hours of teardown time looking at timing belt and timing chain problems and making sure they're done correctly. And it's imperative that you understand this relationship to look at advance and retard on cam timing. Now, here's an example of one of the signal. It's showing the correct point. The cam signal, in red in this case, from a Ford, is crossing right where zero is crossing on the tooth for the 36 tooth with one missing tooth camshaft. Now, they've taken the trouble to document out exactly where 10 degrees plus and minus from this point is. We can look at this and determine exactly how the camshaft aligns with the crankshaft, but someone has to point it out to you. Uh, notice at the bottom down here is the website. If you're interested in this, we think it's a good reference. We recommend it, but it's strictly up to you. Go to Thompson automotivelabs.com and you can look that information up. They have a number of different things there and they sell equipment and a misfire detector. But we found this particular thing very useful in identifying some problems with vehicles. Remember, cam and crank relationship are more important now than they ever have been. If you're going to find those stuck solenoids and bull valves,